Yo, what's up YouTube, Kempsey here and today I'm back with another tutorial for you guys and in today's tutorial I'm gonna show you how you can put a 2D logo into 3D. The programs you need for that is Photoshop and Cinema 4D and we will start in Photoshop. We open up the logo we wanna get into 3D. This is just my simple uh, logo. Um, I'm using that if uh, like if I need to put on orbs where my um, Tron style logo is too long just if you see that anywhere it's my logo um, yeah so I'll show you two ways how you can make that the first way is really really um, easy and really fast but the second way is better so the first way is just go on the magic wand tool click it and then you, you you need to make sure that you're on the layer of the logo and then you just click on here and you see this part of the logo is selected and now you hold shift and click on another part and then both are selected now you click right uh, now you make a right click and make work path tolerance on 0 to 5 pixels you can't do less than that and now you just go on file, expert, past illustrator, work path, OK. And then you just, um, I'll save it as Tood. Yeah, just as Tood. And save it. And now you could open it up in Cinema 4D. But I'll show you the second way, which is um, easier, um, which is better. Because if you put in the first way into Cinema 4D, it will pixelate there and the second way is way better so um for that you just need a pen tool and it don't really matters on which layer you are you just need to see that logo and then you just go around the logo like that I'm gonna make this fast that it's not too boring to watch for you after you finish the first part go on with the second part so it's probably not perfect but it's not really hard to do this logo because it's a really really simple logo if you have like um text which is like the Tron logo of me um it's probably taking more time but yeah it's still pretty easy so um now you just go on file and expert pass to illustrator make sure this is work path and then I'll save it as tut better so oh that was a good move actually just tool priest oh, no <laughs> I'll just remove that bar <laughs> I have no idea what what it is like actions no oh wow <laughs> okay ow oh, tools here we go. <laughs> okay. Um yeah. Um so now we go in Cinema 4D. We are finished with the Photoshop work we need. Um I actually just open up a Lightroom. Um it's in rated 2K GFX pack called Lightrooms for subs. So what you are going to do now is not going on this file and open. There's a second file by objects. Just click that file merge objects. And then you probably will see um, um that was not pretty good here. So I'll just open up the tooth better and you got your logo here. So now everything you are gonna do is <coughs> create two extrude nerves because you have two parts, which you will see here, path one and path two. You don't need the folder, so you just drag them out of the folder. You can delete the folder, and now you just put the extrude nerves on, uh, put the paths on both extrude nerves. So then you will have both paths in 3D. So now you can start at choose, like playing around with it. Select both and put it like on 200 or 300, whatever you like. Caps, fillet cap steps on um, one and radius on about two centimeters 
and then here same one and two and then like you can just play around with it like duplicate that one by holding control pressing C and pressing V then you just duplicate it now you can make that like bigger like three and three and just put it into the back a bit but yeah um now you just see if you render that out it's just white um I'm not gonna add the materials now um this just showed you how you can wow how you can get this into 3d like this one um you can make this way with any logos you have or with any tags if it's not a font then if you can't just make it with the mo text in cinema 4d um this was really easy and now you can play around putting on materials like you're playing around with text and yeah i hope you enjoyed that please like and comment this video and also if you haven't subscribed my channel yet please go and subscribe that and i'll see you at probably at sunday with a new speed art so stay tuned and yeah follow me so thanks for watching guys bye